So today was our first day of rehearsals and um, it went very well and I got an opportunity to meet and greet with some of the other singers, which was pretty exciting and um, it was nice to, to kind of get to know some of the other um, black people in the show, black people from all over the world. I met some people from London, um, from different parts of Germany, and of course, other parts of the US. So um, that was amazing. Secondly, the opera house is phenomenal. It's a brand new opera house. It's um, like probably half of it is glass. It's, there's just glass everywhere and it's so beautiful. And there's so much light that comes in through the house and um, the room, the rehearsal room that where we were working has this humidity, this mist that comes into the room to help, you know, help um, moisturize the air for your voice. And it's just fabulous. And they also have private practice rooms that have this, this humidity mist as well. And the opera house is open 24 hours. So we have these special passes and we can go and rehearse any time of day or night, which is awesome. It's just amazing. There's a gym in the building. There are all kinds of rehearsal spaces and rooms. And there's a canteen where you can eat. It's, it's, it's pretty phenomenal um, just how accommodating everyone is and, and how amazing the facility is. So... Um, we also learned today, uh, I, we got a chance to meet a lot of the administration, and I didn't realize that Porgy and Bess had its European premiere at the Royal Danish Theater here in Denmark. So apparently um, in 1943, this is where the opera premiered, and what is most amazing about that European premiere is the fact that this was an opera about black people in the South of America in, in a work written by a Jewish man being performed in Denmark during Nazi Germany occupation. So the fact that they even put this opera on at that time and the fact that it ran for 20 performances until it had to be canceled in April of, of 1944 was a testament to Danish resistance of the German occupation at that time. So it's, it's a political, um, it has polit political significance and there's a very dear connection to this music um, by the Danish people. And it's interesting because at that time, the parts were not um, sung by African-Americans. They were actually sung by Danish singers. Anyway, that's a sidebar. It was really cool to learn about the history of the show um, within this context. And every time I do this this show, it teaches me something new. So Porgy and Bess is just one of those pieces that you really come to grow with um, on so many levels. So today has been very informative and educational and inspiring. And... Um, I am really loving my working environment <laughs> and I'm excited to get up early tomorrow and go to the gym and work out before rehearsal and warm up in my humidity field practice room <laughs> and just be ready to work. So that's my input on today, day number two. Okay, bye.